Okay guys, I'm gonna talk about something different today. Uh, it's not about computers, not about lying. It's about ordering pizza on the phone and how people don't know how to fucking do it. Like it's so difficult, like they've never done it before. Why I'm talking about it? Well because my parents own a pizza place and I work there on Sundays. And I answer a lot of pizza calls, a lot of phone calls, a lot of uh, people delivering, you know, so I play that role on my Sundays. And, you know, uh, most people are fine, but, you know, you remember the bad ones. You remember the ones that piss you off. So I kind of want to just run down a list of, of the etiquette for ordering a pizza. And this should be really simple. This should be really easy. But people don't get it. And you know who you are. You know, I'm sure most of you watching are, like, totally fine at it because, you know, I used to be a college student and I ordered pizza. I was really good at it. So, here's a couple things. Here's just, you know, there's, like, I have five things on my list I want to talk about. First, if you live in an apartment, you need to give your apartment number. And I, I don't know how people can forget. Like, I can understand how I, as an as a, as a order taker, could forget to ask because a lot of people live in a house and they don't have an apartment number. So it's, you know, for me to like go tack on at the end, oh, by the way, is it an apartment? That should be your responsibility. You should tell me that you live in an apartment. That's part of your address. You don't live on, you know, 400,000 Lake Street. That's not where you live if you also live in apartment 116. Because I can't just deliver a pizza to 1700 Lake Street and then just drop it off. You should tell me that you live in an apartment so I can get it to you. I mean, it's part of your address. Why aren't you used to putting that in? When you order stuff on Amazon, you just put your apartment's address and just, just cross your fingers? I mean, what's your plan? So, you know, so what they do is they order their whole thing and then hang up the phone and then they call right back and go, oh, by the way, don't you need my, don't, and they say like in a condescending way, like I fucked up, like, don't you need my apartment number? Uh, yeah, fuckface, I do need your apartment number. Why didn't you give it to me when I asked you for your address? It's like giving me a phone number and leaving the last number off, you know, like what the hell? Hey, give me your apartment number, you know, or a condo number or whatever, or a suite number, whatever you need that's your address, I need your address. When I ask you what your address is, you got to give it to me. That's that, is that, is that, that's simple, right? All right, number two, have some idea of what you're going to order. Like, don't just, don't get hungry and call, and then be like, uh, I don't know what I, what do you guys have? Like, I understand that everybody has a menu, but can you at least do your, just do your, your due diligence, and maybe Google a menu, and if you can't find a menu online, then you can call in, but at least have an idea what you want to get. Like, if you're calling a pizza place, then know if you're going to get a pizza, or a calzone, or wings, like, have some idea. It's really annoying people call and they have no clue what they want, you know, and I'm, I'll be happy to help out. I'm helpful. I know what's good, what's bad. I'll help you out. But if it's busy or something, I don't want to be on the phone for, you know, 10 minutes talking to one guy who doesn't know what he wants, you know. Just have some idea. This is, you know, this is a minor one. People, you know, usually they just don't have a menu and they just call to ask. But some of the people really just call because they're hungry. They have no fucking clue what they're doing. All right, here's the one that really pisses me off. Let the decision maker take the order. You don't know, here's like a pretend phone call that I get. It's like, hello, thanks for calling. What can I get you? Well, what kind of deals do you got? Okay, here's the deals we have, blah, blah. The deals they have are yada, yada, yada. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take the one deal. So what kind of stuff do you got? Do you, uh, what kind of uh, specialty pizzas do you got? Then I give them a list of like five or whatever. They go, they got this one, this one, this one. Uh, which one again? This one, this one, and this one. Does that sound pretty good? And they're fucking going back and forth. You don't listen, motherfucker. Just put her on the phone. You cut the middleman. Or put me on speaker. Do something. I can't handle this shit anymore. Because I'm they're, they're yelling right in my fucking ear, asking everything to the other person. What flavor of ice cream do you want? Do you want garlic bread? Do you want cheese in that garlic bread? Like, can you just make put your fucking pants up, make a decision, make a fucking call? Or put her on the phone and let her make all the, all the decisions. No, don't, don't fucking middle, middle yourself. It's so stupid. It takes twice as long and you... God, this is just the most frustrating thing. Here we go. Uh, have your credit card ready. I don't know how new online, like, ordering on the phone is. I don't know how new it is. But if your plan is to... Well, f know how you're going to pay. And know if you have enough cash. These are the two separate complaints. Oh, I'm going to pay in cash. How much is it again? Uh, it's $35. Okay, that I probably have it. Every time they say on the phone, I probably have it, hang up, I'm just like crossing my fingers. Because then they'll call back, or better yet, wait for the driver to show up and then not have enough. Fuck, just can you check if you have it? And then the credit card thing, oh, how do you want to pay? Oh, credit card. Okay, can I have that number? 
Oh, you need the number? Yeah, motherfucker, I need the number. How the hell am I going to ring out, ring it out without the number? Well, I thought maybe, like, your drivers can, maybe I can swipe it through their fucking ass crack. W- w- what am I going to do? Like, I, it's not unre- I mean, I guess it's not like in a science fiction movie, every driver could have a fucking high-tech supercar with a card swiper in it, or like, a handheld. Who the fuck, if anybody, leave a comment. If anybody in your area, any pizza place, or any kind of delivery place at all, I know, like, maybe UPS has, like, the drivers have card swipers? I don't think so. Like, where is a card swiper on a driver? Like, give me your fucking card number. You order online, you gotta put your card number in. You order from Amazon, you gotta put your card number in. Where do you order where they don't need the number right away? We need the number, because we're gonna charge you. That's how it works. Like, yeah, I need it now. And then they don't have it ready. Then like, oh, yeah. Or they, they understand that they need a number now, but they just don't have the credit card ready anyway. Like, this in their car. Oh, okay, let me just get my number. Oh, sure, I'll hold while you go get your credit card? Like, why don't you get your credit card when you're going to call to order something food? You're going to be paying for something. Get your credit card already. Why isn't it ready? Then there's the coupon people. The coupon people. Uh, I have a $5 off coupon on an extra large pizza. I also have a free garlic bread when I get an extra large pizza. So I'm going to get an extra large pizza, get a free garlic bread, and get $5 off. Is there? Do I have to tell you that, that's, that you can't do that? I mean, are you trying to just, like, get, slip one by me? Like, I'm not going to notice. Like, oh, okay, well, let me just hit these buttons. You can't use both of them. Unless you get two extra large pizzas, then you can get $5 off of one and get a free garlic bread on the other. But you can't get one pizza and then put... Like, what if you just steal your neighbor's newspapers and get all the $5 off coupons? Pretty soon, I'll be end up fucking paying you because you're getting $5 off seven or eight times. I mean, obviously, you can't use both of them there. Well, it doesn't say anywhere on the coupon. I can't use both, so I'm going to use both. Well, there's two things. First off... It does say that on the coupon. I'm 100% sure. You know why? Because I made all the coupons. And every coupon in the whole fucking planet says on there, in very tiny print usually, not valid with other other offers. Not valid with other offers. It says that. And even if it didn't say that, I don't have to accept them all. I, it's, you know, I can, I can, as the owner of the store or the manager of the store, I can say, sorry, you can't do that. And that's completely fine for me to do that. It's legal and everything. Just because you have two coupons and it's not fucking spelled out for you how they're supposed to be used, you can't just tell me you're going to use them both. You know? You get to use one. If you want to use both, you can get two items of food and you can use both. I'm all for it. You know? Like, you just can't get $5. You can't stack $5 off coupons and fucking put us out of business. Come on. That's just common sense. It, it, doesn't, say, it doesn't say on the coupon. It doesn't say anywhere on here. I don't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does say, you know, what they, when that happens, here's, and I've never, never, nobody's ever gotten me. When they say, well, it doesn't say it on here, so I want to use both. I say to them, okay, if you can bring both coupons in and show me that it doesn't say anything on there, you got both. That's what I tell them. And guess what? It has never happened. Never. They, they either say you were right, or they say they forgot, and they'll just deal with only using one. But they've never brought in both and show me that it doesn't say anywhere on there, because it always says it on there. Because it always says it. And you can't use both coupons. So, I hope these uh, were helpful to somebody. And I know you guys who take orders, I definitely know you You feel my pain. This is this shit is just, you deal with it all the time. I know that. You know, I get these people that are like, uh, we're, it's a pizza restaurant. Okay, it's a pizza place. Do you have pepperoni? I've had that question asked more than one time. Do you have pepperoni? Like, what, what kind of a fucking upside down, bizarro planet you gotta come from? that you need to ask a pizza restaurant if they have pepperoni. Like, are you, when you ask a question like that, are you just stalling? Like, because you don't know what you, do you, are you just stalling for time to make up your mind that you're going to ask a question so fucking stupid? Like, it's like asking me if our pizzas are round or square. Or like, are we going to cut them or not? Like, of course we have pepperoni. That's so stupid. You know, you get all kinds. You get all kinds. I mean, most customers are totally fine, know what they want, done deal. Then you get the odd ones, which, you know, have, they leave you with a story to tell. I'm going to hear a great story, I'll tell you. One of my drivers, I get a call. The guy says to me, uh, what's your policy on your drivers pulling into people's driveways? And I'm like, what do you, I don't even know what that means. Like, they're allowed to. It's not, there's no policy to them not doing it, if that's what you mean. Well, let's just say a driver pulls into my driveway, and then somebody's pulling out of the garage, and they back up into your driver. Is that, is that something, like, you, you deal with? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. My driver drove into somebody in your, in your garage? No, no. One of my family members was backing out, and they hit the driver's car because he parked her in. I'm like, okay, so was the driver being, like, 
Was he being reckless or something? No, no, he was just, he just got in the driveway, but I think he should be more careful when people are pulling out to just pull into somebody's driveway. I'm like, oh, okay, where was the driver? Well, he was in, he was giving me the pizza. I'm like, he wasn't even in his car. My driver parked his car in the driveway, got out of the car, rang your doorbell, and during that time, somebody else backed into his car from your garage, and you want to ask me if that's, like, what, how our policy deals with that? Maybe it's the responsibility of whoever's going backwards out of a garage to check and see if they're going to hit a car. What if there was like a little a little neighbor's child playing behind him and they would just run him the fuck over and you give your neighbor a call say, what's the policy on your daughter playing in my fucking driveway? If you're going in reverse and you hit a parked car, that's your bad. I, I mean, what the hell? This guy was really trying to convince me to fire my driver because he was being unsafe when he was out of his car delivering the pizza to the guy. Like he rang the doorbell. Like, you know, I'm just people are, there's all kinds of people in the world. And some of them are really fucked up. That's, that's, that's really the bottom line. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.